ultimately worship is not about us, not only in the sense that it's not focusing on ourselves, but also in the sense that worship doesn't start with us. Even if you or I had never been, there would still be the worship that pleases God the Father. It comes from Jesus Christ. Ultimately, it's not the people's reaction to you that is of ultimate concern. It is the Father's reaction to Jesus Christ, his Son. And he is the one who can make God present among us. There is one we call Emmanuel, God with us. And this Emmanuel is not withholding any of this from us. Jesus is lots of things, but he is not stingy. I'm staggered, literally staggered, by the gracious privilege that has been shared with us as the body of Christ. We have been drawn into the most solid bond of love that has existed from all eternity. The relationship between God the Father and Jesus Christ, his only begotten Son. Here's how Jesus said it in the Gospel of John. As you, Father, are in me and I am in you, may they, that's us, also be in us so that the world may know that you have sent me and that you have loved them even as you have loved me. So that God the Father may love us even as he has loved Jesus. Now, if that's not the coolest thing ever, I don't know what is. And that's the foundation for our worship. Worship leaders, my musical sisters and brothers, I want to declare that you are free from the burn of having to make God present among us. That is not your job. It's the job of Jesus. That's his liturgies. Worship leaders, don't assume a worship responsibility that's above your spiritual pay grade. <laughs> and those of us who are pastors and worshipers, let us not lay that responsibility on our worship leaders. Making God present on earth belongs only to the highest spiritual pay grades. And only Jesus Christ and his spirit qualify.